from his formal speeches and sermons to him being as much of a regular guy as an American prophet can be, photos of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. line the entrance to here. It's a jam-packed Riverside Church, one of the largest churches in the city. The banner says it all. MLK Now is what this is about. Organized by Ryan Coogler, director of the Oscar-winning Black Panther and other films. The fact that he was a fighter, he was a radical anti-racist. That Martin Luther King. That's who dozens of activists, artists, writers, and political leaders were brought together to talk about not only what Dr. King means now, but also what his message means going forward. Do we want to continue to behave as we have been, or do we want to actually live in a country that gives people the basic things that they deserve? That was a question also raised at the National Action Network by people who can affect change. Members of Congress and dozens of city and state leaders looked ahead together. They say some of the change needed, you can do at the ballot box. He didn't want silence. He didn't want violence. He wanted action. He wanted peaceful action where our voices would be lifted up, where the voices of the voiceless would be heard. From Hollywood and Washington stars here to people who are rarely in the spotlight and don't always have the means to support themselves, here, the legacy of Martin Luther King lives on. This is the food bank for New York City, where some 700 volunteers have shipped out food for 1,500 people for multiple meals all holiday weekend long. The person overseeing making all that food says doing so embodies the MLK ideal. I can't explain it any other way. I love what I do. And the Food Bank for New York City points out that just a $1 donation feeds five people. So for you to carry on the legacy of Martin Luther King, it's easy. Reporting live from Morningside Heights, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.